What's up guys? So I figured I would kind of take this time to uh, make a little video for you since I'm driving to my girlfriend's house. Um, I kind of wanted to explain to you guys what my um, push-pull legs routine is and kind of give you like some extra details on how I go about it and um, what the program really is. I mean, it's not really a program for me per se just because I kind of um, just did my own research and kind of like put together my own exercises so I'm not running like a specific program but for now we'll just we'll just call it a program um, but anyway uh, what a push pull legs uh, split is is so you'll work out three days in a row take a rest and then you work out another three days in a row rest three days in a row rest and uh, you, you kind of get the gist so day one you'll do a push uh, push workout so any movement that involves uh, pushing usually involves your shoulders, chest, or triceps. So I, uh, I base all of my workouts around that. So usually I'll start off um, with a compound exercise first, and I'll actually do that for um, every single uh, workout. So like my push day, I'll start off with compound exercises. My pull day is a compound exercise. And uh, same with uh, leg day, uh, I'll also start with the compound. And reason I do this is because um, Usually in a push-pull leg split, uh, people that are running it are trying to um, gain muscle. So with uh, the compound exercises, you really want to work on uh, getting better at those and adding weight for a progressive overload every single workout. So that's why I start with the compound exercise first. So say today's push day for me, for example, um, I'll start off with like a five by five bench or maybe I want to work on um, my upper chest more. I'll do uh, an incline barbell bench and I'll, uh, I'll work up to a weight that I can comfortably do a five by five with nothing that's too easy but it, I can definitely do it like consistently and once I do that then I'll add like five pounds and I'll do a three by five with that um, and that's kind of how I go about it and then I'll, I'll use that weight um, until I can comfortably do a five by five and then keep repeating that process. So once I'm done with my compound exercise, I'll kind of do like accessory movements for that compound. So like, uh, for example, say we're doing incline bench, then I'll go into like incline bench with dumbbells and I'll do slightly more reps, but not a whole lot more. Cause I still am trying to like build up my strength. So I might do like a four by six or a four by eight. Uh, with a weight that I can get comfortable with. And then after that, pretty much all of my exercises are um, accessory movements. So I'm working in more of like my hypertrophy aspect of the, the workout. So I'll do more sets of like, I'll do stuff like a four by 10 of tricep extensions, four by 15 of chest flies. You know, you, you kinda, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, you kinda get the point. But, um, so yeah, that, that's kinda like, how I go about my push pull leg split. And now um, for pull day, it's any exercises that involve any sort of pull movements. So you're uh, using all of your back muscles, uh, for example, like rear delts, your rhomboids, traps, and then uh, anything with biceps usually uh, is a, a pulling type of movement. So like I said, I'll start with a compound movement first. So usually I'll do like deadlifts. And then, like I said, I'll just, uh, slowly go into my hypertrophy after that and then leg day you guys can pretty much just do anything that uh, involves legs on your leg day um, and I'll start off with squats as my compound movement on that um, but yeah I kind of just wanted to give you guys a short little video explaining how I went about it and what a push pull leg uh, split is so um, hopefully this video you found it informational and you know you kind of got some good tips from it so um, not really sure what my next video is going to be, but you know, I kind of want to make videos on like tips for you guys and how to go about certain things and stuff that I do. So you can kind of get like a reference point as to how I'm doing it. So yeah, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and uh, stay tuned for more to come. Thanks guys.